Thank you for that. So first question, how does somebody know if their pelvic floor is too tight from a, a over contraction or chronic contraction of the muscles there versus too weak? Um, and one of the challenges in having this conversation is that if we were talking about contraction of the calf muscle or the bicep, I think everyone intuitively knows because they've seen the shortening of the muscles when the muscle is quote unquote flexed and the lengthening of the muscles when it is relaxed. Um, is there a way to describe pelvic floor muscular shortening in a way that everyone can understand? Would this be like, um, like I said, we're going to be direct today. Would this like be like tensing up one's, um, uh, anus and the opposite of, of the movement that one would do before initiating a bowel movement and relaxation is sort of the pattern of pelvic floor muscular um, relaxation just prior to initiating a bowel movement? So I will say most people can't recognize it because it's very difficult to notice. It's sort of uh, gradual. Mm -hmm. And so it can, over time, become noticeable with these symptoms. But otherwise, it's very difficult because it's not a muscle that we were ever trained to recognize, right? Like